2013, Jaguar presented the F-Type. This is a car where loads of Jaguar fans have waited for a long time because it was the first real sports car from the brand for a very long time. Since then, the car received loads of prizes because of its unique shape, design and driving skills. Now, Jaguar presents the brand new F-Type here in Munich and we're here together with you live on stage. At the front of the F-Type, we do find the most changes. So for instance, we do have a completely new front bumper now with a larger grille with this wonderful shape here and very important now with the F-Type signature down there. On top of this, I think very important is we have a lot thinner headlamps now. They come in LED technology as standard, but these are here, the so-called pixel LED lens. They're a bit more intelligent. They come with a dynamic indicator as well with automatic headlight or not. And on top of this, very, very important for me is look at the new hood because you do find these air outtakes here at a completely different position and a different shape. They were here, now they're down here. And this is an optimization on one side for the aerodynamic, on the other side to give the big engines more fresh air. The F-Type now features 18-inch alloys as standard, but our F-Type R here comes as standard with 20-inch alloys. When you look at the rest of the side of the car, you won't find so many new things, but you do find the Lipa here instead of the Jaguar signature, and these are real air outtakes now. Looking at the rest, it is the completely same shape. We have the same door handles here. We have this very nicely shaped shoulder, so it really looks like the predecessor. So next to me now is Christian Dana. He's not only a former race driver, he's also responsible for the driving academy of Jaguar. Um, Christian, I have a question. When we look at the new F-Type, what do you think, how important is such a car for the brand Jaguar and how important is it to refine such a car? Well, a sports car has always been absolutely essential for a sports car manufacturer like Jaguar. So yes, the new F-Type is very, very important. And uh, to me, very surprisingly, it's, it's a much better car, and it was a sensational car before. So both areas, you know, the, uh, the design aspect is fascinating. I like it a lot. And the, the technical aspects, the engines, the, the suspension, the aero, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't expect that there was so, so much room for improvement because the car was so good before, and it's, it's quite a bit better now, and it's a lot of fun to drive. When we talk about the specs and the technology, do you know what they really have done uh, the, on the car to make it even quicker, even better on the road? Well, yeah, obviously, uh, uh, suspension is not just, you know, the pickup points and the, and the wishbones and the shock absorbers. There's, uh, there's more to it because you have the shock absorbers and the spring. You have to do the right setup for it, the right settings. And then you have a steering which has to do the job in the right way at the right speed with the right loads and of course you need rims and tires even the tires are, are new and the, it's a new development tire uh, and the combination makes the difference and i i think it's it's a very very good combination and it's so much fun to drive that's how it should be like you know well, we just talked about that you're not the design guy but what do you think what is your idea when you look at it first glimpse well i'm impressed i'm very impressed because the dimensions of the car are identical However, the look of the car is completely different. So, you know, the design team gets 10 out of 10 uh, for what they've achieved. It, it looks very sexy. Looking at the rear of the car, you do find for sure new taillights now as standard in LED technology. And depending on the model and the equip level, you will find dynamic indicators as well. But I think more important is we have a completely new rear bumper and we do now find a different exhaust system, which gives you the idea which kind of the new F-Type you drive. Because if you drive the base model, you will have one big one in the middle. If you drive the R Dynamics or the R version, you do find this, what we find here, which is four pipes. But with the R version, you do find the big R as well on every single exhaust. Looking at the taillights a bit more closer, you do find that we still have this wonderful line here, but it looks a lot more soft, a lot more, yeah, it works a lot better. And you see this black line here, which underlines it again. Very important is you'd still find this typical taillight signature, but 
these smaller, thinner taillights, they should remind us of the taillights of the electric I-Pace. The interior of the F-Type now features, as with the predecessor, this one plus one feeling because there is a big barrier between the driver and the co-driver and that really gives you the sports car feeling. And this is underlined by this big handle. But we know this already from the predecessor. Completely new is the F-Type now features a 12.3 inch full digital cockpit, which starts with a big RAF meter in the middle. But you can completely configure it the way you want, which means you can have two of these round instruments or you can have a full map right into your cockpit. On top you find a 10 inch screen here as a touch screen for the Touch Pro infotainment system with all the new technology on board and of course it now features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And to give the car a bit more of a yeah, Jaguar feeling you do find very nice stitchings here at the door panels or on the seats but depending on the trim level or the engine you buy and to make it a real jack you do find here at the headrest the jumping Jaguar as well. To find the right balance between the analog and the digital world, you do find beneath the infotainment system three round um, knobs to work with the air condition. Beneath them you find something that looks a bit like yeah, out of a jet plane or out of a piano to control things like air condition and heating and all this stuff as well. And this together with this very nice um, gear shift knob gives you a bit of a jet feeling, but you may already have had that with the predecessor as well. So next to me now is Christian Leur. He's head of PR and marketing at Jaguar Land Rover. Christian, I have a question. We just looked at the new F-Type. And um, can you tell me how important is it to yeah, make a fresh one, a, a, a facelift of this icon uh, for the brand Jaguar? I, I think it's, uh, it's uh, very important because the F-Type embodies what Jaguar stands for. It's the essence of a Jaguar. It's a true sports car. It's a gentleman racer, as many people say. And to me personally, it's the most beautiful coupe uh, in the world. And that's what many people think. So uh, we introduced this car in 2012 and uh, we want to leap into the next 10 years with this car. Uh, people love it and uh, that's why we improved it. Uh, we uh, changed the design, we changed the interior, we changed the driving dynamics, uh, the engine lineup. And uh, we're thrilled uh, that this car will uh, bring even more enthusiasts to the Jaguar brand. When we talk about uh, the engines and the, and the powertrain, I saw that you brought a four-cylinder, four two-liter engine for the predecessor. And when I, when I saw this at first, I was also saying, like, what is this? This is a super sports car, four-cylinder. How does it work? And my question is, did it work and will you continue? I could say it definitely worked. Uh, there were many skeptics and I can tell you that half of the F-Types we sold last year were four-cylinder cars. It's great fun. It's really genuinely great fun. Uh, downsizing four cylinders, a sports car, they go together super well. It sounds great, it drives well, it's a true sports car. Uh, and we're gonna continue that journey. But at the same time, we're gonna continue the journey with an eight cylinder, uh, five liter compressor engine. So we have both uh, the eight cylinder community, but also the four cylinder. Uh, they want a lightweight, uh, fun to drive car as well. So both will be catered for. When the new F-Type hits the market, there are three different engines available for the car. The beginning or the start is the P300, which is a four-cylinder turbo petrol engine that delivers 300 horsepower. Then the next step is the P450, which then is already a V8, and of course, with 450 horsepower. And then you have the top version, which is the F-Type R, and that then features the V8 with 575 horsepower. So as much as the predecessor as the SVR version. Um, this car is limited then at 300 kilometers per hour. Uh, but I think more important is the cars always come as standard with an 8-speed automatic gearbox for, from ZF. And on top of this, the small one you can buy as a rear powered car. The top version always is an all-wheel drive and the middle, you can choose which one you prefer. The F-Type will be available in three different trim levels. So the base level will be F-Type, then you will find the F-Type R Dynamics and then the F-Type R. The prices, they will start here in Germany with the base model at 64,200 euros. Then you will find the, let's say, middle one, which will cost you 92,500. And the top version, the R, will then start at a bit more than 125,000 euros. 
I really do like what they did with the F-Type because they really sharpened the car without losing the DNA of the car. And I'm really looking forward to drive that car quite soon.